A chorus of tens of thousands of voices singing Mexico's national anthem, filling the capital's main public square known as El Zócalo. The large crowds assembling throughout the day Sunday in protest of President Andres Manuel López Obrador's proposed budget cuts to the country's independent electoral authority, essentially its election watchdog. El INE no se toca. The protesters wearing pink, the color symbolizing the INE, the National Electoral Institute, concerned the cuts will force a more than 80 percent staff reduction, impacting the INE's ability to ensure fair and free elections and diminish its authority. The institution has long been seen as a turning point in Mexico's political history. Established in the 90s, it marked the end of a more than 70-year-long period of one-party rule. By diminishing the capacity of this commission to go in every geographical location to identify citizens and register them, it will definitely uh, undermine as well their capacity to vote. Lopez Obrador already expecting legal challenges to the legislation he argues would cut wasteful spending. But protesters fear the move is an effort by the president to keep his political party in power. Ya se aprobó en el Senado esta reforma. López Obrador is not eligible for re-election in 2024 under the country's constitution, which only allows one six-year term. We know the president is not eligible for re-election after this term. Why is this something that he would want to implement? This reform, instead of fostering the possibility to, uh, to renew and enforce a new opposition system, it does exactly the opposite effect, which is to consolidate the electoral process in a way that is favorable to one part, one political party. The calls to block this reform expanding globally, including demonstrations seen in Washington, D.C., London, Paris and Madrid. And the amount of people that we've seen and the number of cities that joined this protest this last weekend, it is it is mounting and in, in, in it's a reflection of the whole situation and the context that the country is living from previous um, movements, social movements that have been protesting for the past two years. All right, Valerie Castro joins us now in studio. So, Valerie, as you reported, the Congress has already approved this plan. So who can block this now? Well, right now it's in the hands of the country's Supreme Court, and they will decide if any part of the reforms are unconstitutional. In response, the president said today the demonstrations only show it's the protesters who don't want democracy. He believes they want an oligarchy. So explain to me, Latin America has had a serious problem with corruption in, in, in almost every single country, right? So why does the president, AMLO, want to take away the election watchdog? powers or at least take away their funding. I'm trying to understand this because this, you would think, would hurt democracy in Mexico. So this president's popularity comes largely from the working class, and he hopes that by reducing the funding to that watchdog group, that will go back to the people. But there is still fear that without that independent authority, the country could revert back to that one-party rule, which really wasn't that long ago. Tom. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.